So this video is the result of a conversation we recently had with some clients who are looking for something a little bit outside of the norm. I thought this would be helpful in case you're looking for something similar as well. So these folks are looking for a couple things. Number one, they want to live in a highly, highly walkable area. Not just, oh, I can walk to this or that, but walk out your front door, spend hours walking around, doing different things, going to shops and restaurants, things like that. So truly walkable. However, they don't want to be anywhere near central Austin. So they want to be outside of Austin, ideally, something kind of a slower pace. They just, they just want to avoid Austin if they can. And yet they need to be within 45 minutes of downtown and within 45 minutes of the airport because they have to use those from time to time. So this is an interesting question because what we're looking for is we're looking for a deep suburb, quaint, charming, walkable, but yet close enough to downtown. So let's get into what we found. Let's start by talking about what we ruled out. So along the way, you know, we looked at the domain, obviously, which sounds like a good option. I mean, it's technically in Austin, but it's not central. But the problem with the domain is that while it has all the shopping, it does not have homes for sale. It's just homes for rent. So that got rolled out. The next was, okay, what about like Belterra Village? Belterra Village has a fair amount of shopping or some shopping, some restaurants, homes for sale. But, you know, at the end of the day, when we really looked at it, it just doesn't have that truly, truly walkable space. There's just not enough going on to be able to, like, like I said, walk out your front door and spend hours walking around. It's just not going to happen there yet. Uh, same goes for downtown Round Rock. That got rolled out. Downtown Dripping Springs, same reason. So all of those were kind of a no-go. But we did find two options that I think are really, really going to suit these folks well. And they're different enough to give them a pretty good choice. So the first one is going to be downtown Georgetown. So downtown Georgetown has that kind of small town square feel. It really does that well. It's a very charming downtown. There's a lot to do in downtown Georgetown. It's very walkable, tons of shops, tons of restaurants, tons of wineries, tons of breweries. It really covers all of those kind of bases for a lot of people. From a commute standpoint, you're looking at probably 30 minutes to downtown and about 40 minutes to the airport. So we're checking all the boxes there. Price point wise, you're looking at anything in the 400 to 800 range if you want to be down near that Main Street area of Georgetown. Now you're going to get an older home and probably a smaller home. Some of them have been redone and some haven't. And that, you know, that, that's affected in price. But overall, if you want to have that kind of walk out your door you know, and be surrounded by things you can walk to, this is one of your better options. The other place we found for them is the Hill Country Galleria. So this, if you're driving towards Bee Cave, this is on your way out there, it's very similar to the domain. So if, you, if you've ever read about or been to the domain, this is like the domain, it's just on a smaller scale. There are lots of restaurants, there's a ton of shopping, there's a movie theater in there. There's a Whole Foods. The city municipalities are there as well. So the city of Bee Cave is a small incorporated area. There are city halls there. There are public libraries there. So there's, there's actually quite a bit to do. And there's a pavilion kind of area, green space in the middle of this, where they do these family-friendly concerts every weekend. So there's definitely a lot you can plug into here. So the Hill Country Galleria is about 30 minutes from downtown, and to get out to the airport, it's probably about 45 minutes from there, but it still hits their criteria. We're still okay there. Now, price point and homes are going to be very different from downtown Georgetown. So while there are apartments for rent in the Hill Country Galleria, the, the main product that you could buy there is, is the townhomes. This is like a tr uh, three-story a larger product, you're going to have kind of a bedroom or an office downstairs. You go upstairs, you've got kind of your main living areas, kitchen, and then you go to the third floor and you've got your bedroom. So usually these are three to 4,000 square feet. They're larger. They don't have really a yard to speak of because they're townhomes. These tend to run about a million dollars plus or minus. Some of them are newer than others, but keep in mind, there aren't a ton of these. So, you know, we're not talking about hundreds. There's probably less than 30 right now. Uh, there's, I think, two or three for sale right now that were recently constructed. Uh, I do think they're going to probably bring a few more online in the next 12 to 24 months. But all said and done, I don't think we're talking about 
ever being more than 50 here. So there, there's not, it's not, there's not going to be a ton of them. But I do think it's a really good option if you want to be in that Hill Country Galleria area, you want something newer, nicer, maybe you don't want to deal with the lawn anymore. In case you want it, that's a fantastic school district as well. So a lot of things going for it. In general, I just think it's going to be one of the better options if you want that truly walkable kind of go downstairs, go to the grocery store, grab a cup of coffee, meet a friend for lunch. It's all there. Those are the two options that we found for these folks that I think are going to be really good fits. Let me know in the comment sections what you think of these and if you think there are other options out there that maybe we missed. Okay, guys, I hope this was helpful and I'll see you on the next one.